Woman in Parker wins big after taking on her mortgage company, taking it to court. Federal jury found the lender willfully and negligently sent false information to the credit bureaus. Karen Morfitt live at the federal courthouse for us tonight. And Karen, she's quite the fighter, hopes this decision will make creditors listen up. Yeah, Karen, her attorney says as far as he knows, this is the first case of its kind here in Colorado. Someone taking a big mortgage company to court and winning at trial. They hope that other companies hear this and reconsider how they treat their clients. And I actually moved out here. It'll be 24 years this July 4th weekend in the same house. That house quickly turned into a home for Valerie Jeffers and her two girls. Decades worth of holidays, birthdays and memories. I've raised my kids in that home. In 2010, she found herself filing for bankruptcy. They stuck a foreclosure notice on my home, and I thought, I want to save my home. Four years of working two, sometimes three jobs, she was discharged from bankruptcy. A month later, her mortgage company, Aquin, sent her a past due notice for more than $6,000. And I thought, I cannot do this. This isn't right, and I need to find a way to fight it. Jeffers hired attorney Matt Osborne, who reached a settlement with Aquin, requiring them to show the loan was current and always had been. Aquin never did and brushed off Jeffers' disputes about the issue. Aquin didn't do anything really to investigate it. They outsourced it to India. They kind of processed it like a factory line. Federal law requires a thorough investigation, and Osborne sued a second time. And they had my life in their hands for several years, and they never fixed it. That's a scary. That's scarier than going to trial. A jury found Aquin ignored her concerns and instead continued to file false claims with the credit bureaus. As a result, they're now paying Jeffers more than four hundred thousand dollars for her trouble. If I can help one person out there, that's all I care about. Now, around the same time that Jeffers started her fight, Aquin was actually paying out another settlement for $2.5 million to a customer back east. We're live tonight in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.